Ma'am, can we get along? I just want you to admit to me that he is a Christian or whatevs. Or really just anything that works out. <laughs> so I need some blackmail. Hopefully I can remember what I p uh I guess what I picked last time is probably gray now. So it shouldn't be that hard to remember. Interesting shape of the place. You have to go in the opposite direction to get up to get where you're trying to go. Hi, I'm intruding. You're not supposed to be in here. I know. Where do you keep your vibe? Can we talk? Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? What do you think about the golden rule? I think it's about to be broken if you don't hurry up and leave. How would you like some help getting back at Maliolus? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. I don't think Maliolus is who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. You know, I may. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he... Now, yeah, he's I... He's the wrong name I, but... for himself. I just hate to see a beautiful woman treated so poorly. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. What do you want? I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Uh, I already got the wine, I'm pretty sure, but wait, thanks for being a weird dick about it. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any questions. So, you'll help me? Yeah, I have some wine right here. Thank you. Here's the letter. Quinctius to beloved Claudia. For a time, I despaired at the thought of being trapped here for the rest of my life. But then I met you and discovered that as long as I am with you, I am exactly where I should be. Mere words cannot express my affection for you. And so I will perform a grand gesture in your honor. I will become this city's magistrate, so that I may govern with wisdom and strength and be uh, and with you by my side. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. According to this bounty letter from Emperor Nero, he's the person who started the fires in Rome last year. What? He's... Oh no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. Sure, you can have this one. I can always get another copy. <laughs> another copy? No, 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 no! This can't be happening. What? No. You... you tricked me, you mendacious little Sturkus. I didn't lie to you. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately concealed it. May Jupiter cut you down. I'll be going now. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. Was that me opening the door over and over again by standing in it? It kept going and going. Alright, well, not making a lot of friends, but thankfully people around here have short memory spans, so... <laughs> Uh, 
Domitius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? So you're Quinctius? My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgius. You seem to have confused me with someone else. Once again, just an incredibly believable pause that somebody would give if they were not lying. You have one green eye, one blue eye, just like the description of this execution order from Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. I can't prove it to you yet. I mean, can't I? My mistake, never mind. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. He's going to plan my death now. We. I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> Are you insane? Because I know you're Quinctius, your wife gave me your love letter, and Nero wants you dead. So apparently this is where you have to go for this instead of the other conversation tree. I... Uh, so... It finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you... What? One of Nero's assassins? No, I'm not, fortunately for you. So... You're not going to kill me? Not if you withdraw from the election and immediately release everyone in debt bondage to you. Oh, so much work and money. Oh, well, if I do it, do it let me live? The golden rule is here. Like, I don't know why the threat of death is even a thing that he's thinking about. I will. Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. I'll have Domitius notify the priestess of my withdrawal and release those two from debt bondage. There, you got what you wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. Does the time loop starter now start with the bald guy running to this guy and getting him to withdraw from the election right at the beginning? Because that's really funny if that's where, where it's going to happen now. Domitius, are you listening? Yes, sir. I've made a decision to release Yulia and Ulpius and withdraw from the election. I want you to go and inform Equitia. Sir? Are you under duress, sir? I, I just had a, a, a change of heart. But you're on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. Those are my orders. Carry them out. <sighs> As you wish, sir. I just can't accept the idea of a functioning economy with class disparity and so on when there's like 20 people. <laughs> Smaller than a classroom. Alright, so that's happening. I think things are just going all over the place now. So now I need to go Priestess, find... Maliolus has decided to withdraw from the election. Oh, well, that's surprising. But thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. <laughs> she runs just out of here. I need to find the bald guy, who I think is at the bar? Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. That is all. It's hard to say that she really found an audience for that. She kind of just stood somewhere and yelled at no one. There wasn't even like one person kind of nearby. She could have at least gone to the market all the way. Hmm. I wonder if we can ever get her out of the way. Oh, is he? there he is down there. Owie! She used the Elden Ring with its shockingly fall, uh, far falls that don't hurt you. Oh, it's you. Oh, there you are. A word they tell you. Okay. Hi. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and... It worked. 
How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? Uh, I'm reliving the same day over uh, and over again. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, like Sisyphus? Has, remind me of that? Yeah, sure. Sisyphus. We've been here. Uh, at least there's that. Hey, you're good, Manglaris. So same tree, and then... Alright, ha! You want to be mayor? <laughs> Salve again, my Sisyphean friend. Now, what's in your mind? Uh, what do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for... Uh, ever thought about running for magistrate yourself? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. And that's good enough for me. Meliolus withdrew from the election. He did? Oh, that was unexpected. I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. Well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. Alright. Alright, friend. Hope you find a way to break that cycle you're in. And now I've got to figure out how to get him elected. Hey, everybody, who are you voting for? Also... Might have to figure out how to get past the part where the whole thing breaks the moment the, uh... Somebody's still gonna break the golden rule. Oh wait, no, it was because the, uh, the execution. So if he wins, maybe that nobody makes the mistake of doing an attack. Otherwise, I might have to redo the entire loop again where I get the election sorted and whatnot. Does Dooley get to vote? Because it's like his duly held uh, right to vote, huh? <gasps> Hello. Feeling all right? Uh. Do you not vote? Oh, you're a woman. That's a shame. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> I just remembered what women how women do in this setting. That means we have very few characters to work with, and this guy's mad at me, so that's not great. Don't even talk to me. Yep. Not the best cycle for that. Make, but maybe both these people will vote for him? Ah, a fellow traveler. Greetings. I'm blah, blah, blah. Yes, ha, ha, ha. Oh, shit. That, it, it jumped in front of my mouse. Like, Get down, Mr. President. Uh, who are you gonna vote for? Galerius, did you know he saved the life of my young friend Fabia? The man is a hero. But of course. I called it. I hope. I called it. It's totally gonna happen. They, <laughs> they're all gonna vote for him because he ran around and solved everyone's problems this morning. Ah, a new face. I. You gonna vote for it. Galerius, definitely. He put an end to the notes and graffiti I've been receiving. How many votes does he All need? Right. Nice to. So there's like 20 people left because of all the missing people, and like half of them are men, right? So like, what is it? Is this entire vote determined by like having like three, four? How many votes do I need to break the win? Because Dooley doesn't get to vote. I can't do anything about you. Although you're probably gonna you'd probably vote for Galerius over the current leader, right? In fact, anybody who is going to vote for the previous uh challenger might vote for the new challenger. Can you vote? Hello. Probably not. Hello. Uh I don't think you can oh, vote. Boy. I don't think they're gonna let you vote. So I've got two guards to find. And if they all say Galerius, we're in a good spot, and then I just have to, I guess, awkwardly wait for night to fall to happen. And I always think this is going to be the way out. At least one of them is like, might be at the bar. Oh, I should talk to the the guy that was previously an indentured servant. He'll probably vote for Galerius because he freed him. It's, it's pretty easy as it turns out. Everyone's pretty psyched about this character. Uh, 
Is that him? Oh shit. My character jumps forward weirdly. Don't believe a word. Shalom, friend. Hello? What are you gonna vote for? Sentius. Why? I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. That's not the vote. Would you vote for Gal Galerius? Galerius? The farmer? He's a good man, but I think he's more valuable on the farm than as magistrate. Come on, man. He saved you. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. Can't even argue with him. Like, as far as you know, he just showed up with two thousand uh, dollar redos somehow, and then freed you from your indentured servitude. I thought you'd be the easy one. Uh, and he, so saving him makes the votes worse because he votes for the other character, and he was going to be a com he's going to be a complete non-vote before. Boy, how did you get in there, you cheeky little stirkers? If I cop an earful from Maliolus, I'll be coming for you. Oh, don't worry, I ruined his entire career. What now? Uh, who are you gonna vote for? <laughs> I'm not going. Ah. Uh, Whatever. It's bad. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck, I wish I knew that character's names off the top of my head. I should try to keep track here. Let's see. So bad at names. Hello? You see us? So, Sentius, Larius, we don't know who Decius is going to vote for, but he might vote for Galerius, based on how he do. Medicus Maliolus is a guard, so he's not going. Uh, Dulius. Oh, it's Dooley. Quitia. Can't even write any of these people down. Baker, Fabia. Galerius, Georgius. So Georgius is Galerius. Got Georgius on the Galerius one. Hannibal. We don't know. Yeah, he's gone. Horatius is the other guard, so I need to check with him. Kabosh is not around to vote. Julia, Livia, Lucrezia, Maliolus. Who are you gonna vote? I should ask Maliolus who he's gonna vote for. <laughs> I sh yeah, I guess so. Naivi, Octavia, Rufius, Sentia, Rufius, Patrol. The other patrol guard, Centilla, Centia, Centius, Ulpius. Ulpius is voting for Centius. Virgil's voting for Galerius. We have the two shopkeepers next to each other voting for Galerius, and then Root. Ulpius is voting for Centius. So it's two to one so far. I have way less points of data than I expected. But you're not going, and the other guy won't talk to me, so that's a question mark and a abstain. I'm sure he'll love this question. Leave me be. Well, fuck. All right. So. Wink Dias is a question mark, and Decius. So we have two people where we don't know how they're gonna vote. I don't even know if he will vote. Uh, we have one person who's not gonna vote. We have two people voting for Galerius, one person voting for Sentius. I still need to talk to his, uh, uh Sentius's guard is totally gonna vote for Sentius. I 
hope you have a good reason for flouting my weapons ban. <laughs> I'm just trying to coo you. Where is your guard? He does not appear to be in the building. Where did he go? He's out there somewhere. Maybe he's at the bar already? Citizen, we're finally alone. I assume you... We've had this conversation before. We've had this conversation too and I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Alright. I'd like you to release Dooley. I mean, Duilius. Really? Look. Let's see. Yeah, your guard's probably voting for you, so it's currently a tie, maybe? It's not great. Hmm. Who do I think is going to break the golden rule? Do I even have an answer? Hmm. Do you lock up the person who might be breaking the golden rule and then use that to tamper with the vote? <laughs> Just be a real dick about this? Thank you. Let's see. I need, well, I need to come up with something to do today. <laughs> oh, there you are. It's a proper Fallout 4 moment. What is it, citizen? Who are you gonna vote for? Not that it's any of your business, but my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Yeah, that's what I figured. So Horatius was for Sentius. That's who I'm missing. There's a third guard, Rufius, the guy with the All right. aspirin need. He's on this street, usually? Maybe in here? If the vote doesn't work out, I can come back and talk to him. See if he'll like me in the future. No one's usually around here. It's pretty funny. He always has one. Oh, he always, he always has the the coin from his death, right? It's always funny to me that that bow is so close to him, and he wants a bow, and it's like, there it is. Go get it. Look how easy it is. Right, so Rufius might be upstairs. Citizen. Ah, yep. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Who are you gonna vote for? Valerius. Sorted out my rheumatism. For the first time in a long time, I'm not in constant pain. Good man. Okay, so we're in a good spot. Uh, Galerius is winning three to two and Quinctius might vote for Galerius out of spite because he just wanted to get rid of Sentius, right? And Decius might vote for Galerius because he was already trying to vote for the disrupting force that isn't uh, Sentius. So a lot of people that wanted to vote for uh, or whatever Quinctius's previous name was that I already forgot. <laughs> They pro there's a good chance they'll transfer to Galerius, so that's good. Fine. Any idea where to find a Roman plaque? No idea what you're talking about. Come on, I helped treat your rheumatism. What? That was Galerius, not you. Where do you think he got the willow bark? Oh, he got it from you? I guess you did help me then. Huh. I think I have seen that plaque. Sorry I lied. Can't be too careful these days. Head into the caves behind the theater. Turn right, turn right again. Oh, and here. You'll need this key. Key 
key to the secret shrine. You didn't get that from me. Got it, thanks. So you're on. Let's see. I've already done that though, right? Like, yeah, I already have the Roman plaque. I got it without following the instructions and maybe got the key before or something? Uh, anyway. anyway. Get Galerius elected, we're kind of done with that. Find the Greek plaque, that's the same quest objective. Find out what happened to Scintilla, search the Sistians for signs of Scintilla. Ask residents of the villas for clues about Scintilla's disappearance. I overheard Horatius accused Domitus of some involvement in Scintilla's disappearance. Domitius. 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 Who the fuck? Maliolus's guard. Oh, this shitty headman. He wants question. Ah, uh, he wants question mark gift. <laughs> Unknown gift. Very helpful. Some kind of gift. Great. Hello. Isn't the great temple majestic. Bye. Do I have a thing you want yet? What now? Scintilla's disappearance. Listen, I don't abduct women. I think you're hiding something. You don't know Sturkus. What was I? Was it a story? Why, just like a gladiator? You. Who gonna vote for you? Staying home? What do you? What do you know? Way out of here? If I did. Um. Whatever. Okay. Then they'll try Horatius. Which is his guard? The other guard. Is he up here again? The, uh... I don't remember the context of why I was going to give him something in exchange for something, but maybe I circumvented it already because I, I didn't see it in there. What now? Can we talk about Scintilla? What business is that of yours? I'm looking for her. A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Well, I've already found her. I'm just playing along. <laughs> It sounds like you don't want me looking for her. No, it's not that. We all care for Centilla. She is, or was, a lovely young woman. But I learned long ago not to dwell on things beyond my control. Or to try not to, anyway. But I don't want to seem obstructive. If you have questions, ask away. Did you notice anything suspicious before she went missing? Scintilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. Fine. All right. Hmm. I have not talked to you for a while. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? What do you think about the Golden Rule? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Fair question. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. It's definitely real. Oh, and I suppose I'll just have to take the word of a know-nothing barbarian who just arrived, will I?
I'll be going now. I trust you can see yourself out. She's just great to talk to. Fantastic Your conversationalist. You can't take my weapons. You can't take the sky from me. Uh, did I, can I remember the name she said? Equitia, no. You said Claudia? The wife of Maliolas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so two of the people are the people in the Maliolas house that don't like me anymore. So probably not talking to them. A new face. Arve. Uh... Oh, my... Confronting Pluto head-on. It's everyone's... That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the Golden Rule, and maybe even put an end to it. As I said... I have a few tricks up my sleeve. I'll admit, you do seem different to anyone I've ever met. And even that lamp of yours looks like something Prometheus might have stolen from the gods. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you-know-who, and for that, you'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, and there doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. I suspect the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our Divine Keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing to receive an audience again. It's the top. May. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I think we're stuck for now. I can accuse so many people if I want to, including the assassin. Okay, maybe I'll do that next. Otherwise, I'll probably have to just kind of politely wait for the evening to start. Ask a Quechi about appealing to the gods for help? Where have I missed that in the tree? What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Galerius, the challenger. Why do you ask? Oh, I can start now, apparently. <laughs> Probably just skips ahead to it. Uh, who's allowed to vote? All of the male citizens who are with the women can't vote. Hmm, that's just the way it's always been. I'm afraid it never sat right with me either. There are some women who can vote, vestal priestesses like myself, but in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Such as? By using whatever gifts the god... Can we start the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters, and also, I'm bored! Hmm. Yes. I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Very well. I'll get things started right away. I'm really surprised that works. I kind of thought it would be like... I, I kind of thought it would be like, uh... Can we hold it now? It's like, no, you're gonna have to wait! And then it fades to black and it time travels to when the election does happen. <laughs> like... Because you do get to wait, but like, it would work for the player because they're picking the option that says do it now, but in-universe they would do it at the time they're supposed to do it, because that makes sense. But 
Apparently I can just ask the election to just get moved and everyone has to drop their shit for the new guy that just decided the election happens right now. Alright, we'll, we'll see how that turns out next time. Mm -hmm.